Today on Need Inspiration, it's all about the essentials of networking. We've got great tips from our two networking experts, Michael Libby, owner of Insight Advertising and Powerful Networker, and Rebecca Zoot, owner of Zoot Marketing and also an incredible networker. We're teaming them up with two of our sponsors on Need Inspiration, Tim Clark, owner of the Amish House in Urbandale, and Dr. Angie Monte, chiropractor and owner of the Complete Wellness Center in West Des Moines. Now Michael and Rebecca will be giving them some advice before we turn them loose at the World Pork Expo. Dr. Monty, one of the things about going out and meeting people at new networking events, you know, there's a lot of stress in that. How, how are you in public speaking and networking? Actually, getting up in front of a large crowd, I am not so good at. But um, getting together with a networking group, kind of, you know, one on one, have some, you know, some drinks and some food. That's a little bit more comfortable for me. But getting up in front, standing in front of a podium and doing that speech not so much. If you can just tell me a little bit more as I'm trying to coach you and get you ready for this event, um, how comfortable are you with those events? Uh, it's something that I'm trying to grow into. I've okay. uh, been at it basically 16 months okay. and uh, so there's still a lot of people that I don't know and you want to get to know everybody and uh, yeah. find out their story. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's just start out so we um, are entering the event. So tell me how you normally introduce yourself to people at the event. I think it probably varies. I don't know if I'm real consistent, but I usually say something to the effect of, um, I'm Tim Clark, I'm with Amish House Furniture. Um, how are you doing today? Mm -hmm. And uh, go from there. Definitely. Um, so when you, when you tell them that you're with Amish House Furniture, you don't tell them that you're the owner of Amish House Furniture? I don't normally. Okay. Is um, there a reason why? I feel like it's kind of a, boastful statement and I am proud of, proud of the company and I'm proud of what we do. One of the things that we try to train people on when they're in a networking environment is first of all to get noticed. Mm -hmm. Now when you and I met uh, just earlier today one of the things about me people say well yeah he's six foot tall and 250 pounds mm -hmm. they notice that mm -hmm. but right. you you look like everybody's sister mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, so how, how do we differentiate you? And, and I think maybe that's one of the things we're going to work on for your networking experience. Mm -hmm. you know, first of all, um, I, I'd like to see uh, you, when you dress for this event, mm -hmm. wear something that's really a little bit outlandish so that people will go, gosh, I, I, I remember mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dr. Monty's whatever, whether it's a lapel pin or whether it's a piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the things that you do that I've not often seen in too many business people is that when you presented your card, or when I presented my card to you, you actually studied it. Mm -hmm. And that makes a real big impression on people. So when you're switching cards at the next networking event, take a moment and actually read the card. Networking is such an important part of overall marketing, and a lot of people put so much time into their print ads and their, their television ads and what they're going to say and the impression they're going to make. And really, with networking and being at these events, your impression and the image that you want to portray of the store and your message of the store is so important. So let's talk a little bit more about what sets you apart. Um, what makes Amish House Furniture unique and sets you apart from other furniture stores that would make a memorable impression in people's minds? Well, quite often I, I like to talk about the uh, fact that it's uh, heirloom quality furniture that's going to last a lifetime, mm -hmm. um, that we're locally owned. Okay. Um, and then I try to overcome the misconception uh, that all Amish furniture looks the same. Mm -hmm. uh, we ha offer a variety of styles. Okay. Um, that surprise people sometimes. Yeah. So trying to overcome the stereotypes. Yep. Yeah, and I think that we should set a goal at the networking event next week of uh, meeting three people that you haven't met before, because obviously you want to keep building that relationship, so you want to say hi to people that you already know, but um, we really want to get in front of new people as well. So just setting that goal when you go to networking events, depending upon the time, okay, I definitely want to say hi to people that I know, but I want to meet three new people um, and have three new people that I'm starting to build relationships with in, within my network. Okay. Mm -hmm. so so I guess to summarize, mm -hmm. yeah. although you don't need it, <laughs> you're very good, um, is, is pay real close attention to the other person first and listen carefully to what they're doing. And that starts with receiving the business card. The elevator speech that you have, inject a little bit of humor into mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Be memorable in what you wear and how you, uh, how you, how you come on. 
uh, mm -hmm. uh, during the discussion. And I think uh, finally, you know, the, the tools that are in social media are really amazing things to use and could uh, could help your uh, your business significantly. Okay. Okay. Who knows? Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. <laughs> More with networking when we come back. Our two Need Inspiration sponsors, Dr. Angie Monti from Complete Wellness and Tim Clark, owner of the Amish House, have gotten great advice from our networking gurus, Michael Libby and Rebecca Zoot. And now they're off to the World Pork Expo to see how they can use their new skills. We're here at the World Pork Expo and Angie is about to take her maiden voyage with Michael's advice. So Angie, how do you feel about this? I feel excited. Yes. Um, yeah, very excited. Pumped. So Yes, very pumped. It's a, it's a different crowd, so it'll be a good experience, I think. So what's your biggest fear? Um, probably just, you know, starting the whole conversation with somebody else. Okay, so there you go. What last minute advice? All she has to do is wade into the crowd and say, hi, my name is Angie. I'm a chiropractor. We've opened up a business here. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And on we go. We wish her luck and we'll see what happens. Attack. So I know, I know. Oh, you're not there, for a while. <laughs> there is, there's a lot of people around. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You too. Well, definitely. I'm a chiropractor here in West Des Moines. I don't know if you live in Des Moines, but or yeah, um, pass it on. So there you go. There's my card. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are easy. Yeah, I do. I love principal health insurance. It's a good health insurance. So yeah. Oh, great. Good. There you go. Are you getting dirty? Are you from Des Moines too? Yeah? Okay, very good. I'll give you a business card. I don't know if you guys have a chiropractor or need a chiropractor. Oh, but, fabulous. Um, yeah, check out my website and a little bit of tips on there also. So. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right. <laughs> Rebecca has given Tim Clark, owner of the Amish House, a lot of advice. Now let's see how he uses his new skills to network. Uh, not real nervous. Uh, a little different clientele than I'm used to talking to, so uh, I hope to learn a lot from the people. I'm One uh, right here. No, wait, there. <laughs> now tell me a little bit more about Trilax. I'm new to this event, and you guys have been kind enough to kind of host us out here. Sure. Ron, kind of what I would do, I would just say, hi, I'm Tim Clark, and I'm just here checking out Tim Clark, the owner of Amish House Furniture, and I'm checking out the expo, trying to learn what different businesses do here. I'd love to hear more about your business, something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. All right. What are you guys in orange, orange shirts doing today? Well, we're doing well. There's lots of orange shirts around. I'm Tim Clark. I'm with, I'm the owner of Amish House Furniture here okay. in town, okay. and we're just out here trying to find out a little bit more about some of the exhibitors and what's going on at the show. Um, can you guys tell me a little bit more about Pure Tech Genetics? Pure Tech, I'm Randy Lee. Randy? Pure Tech, Tim I Clark. will absolutely guarantee you it's the newest company. Tim has had a little bit of time at the World Pork Expo passing out cards and talking to people. So, Tim, how, how's it going? You've been taking some of Rebecca's advice. What do you think? It's been great. The people out here are really friendly, uh, down to earth people, so it makes it pretty easy. Uh, I've also been told the food's pretty good too, so. That's always helpful with a networking event, don't you think? Comes in handy. Learning a little bit today and networking a little bit with uh, a different crowd that maybe um, you don't see every day. So you see, networking is super easy. All you have to do is be yourself, make sure that you're prepared, maybe have something to hand people, and then just get to know people, and pretty soon you will be building your business like crazy. If you want to contact one of the experts with questions, or just get some of the great tips that were shared today, just go to needinspiration.com and you'll get all your questions answered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Need Inspiration. We're proud to bring a new episode each and every week. Stop into Des Moines Motors and see our incredible line of noble cars, electric motor vehicles, and quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. We'll see you on the next episode of Need Inspiration.